Welcome, everyone, to another survival game guide in our Medieval Dynasty series. If you have an apiary, you might be noticing that your bees are not producing as much honey um, as you might think they are. And there is a reason for that. You're not crazy. There is a, um, a reason why they don't seem to be producing honey as, as much or uh, as often as they do perhaps in other times of the year. And basically, this video is going to be all about the aviary and how to know when you're going to get like your, your full production and all that. So um, stay tuned for the, the whole how it works. But uh, first things first, let's go into a building, an apiary. Now, uh, the apiary, which is basically just a bunch of beehives, it is how you're going to get honeycomb. Honeycomb is, uh, you can sell it. Um, on its own, but you can also make it, uh, I believe you can make meat out of it or something. You can make some sort of um, alcohol out of it in the tavern. So it's not bad to stock uh, up on it if you plan on making the tavern like one of your important production buildings, basically. So let's get into uh, making one because we, uh, we are ready to do so now in our playthrough here. So let's go ahead and first of all, head to technology. You will find the apiary in the farming tree here, and it unlocks at 5,000 tech points. So you do a lot of farming, and eventually you will unlock the apiary. Since we have it unlocked, we're going to go ahead and build this guy. I think we're going to just... I wanted to put it on this side, but we have a pig that wants to, to hang out here, so that's cool. Let's see here... This will be an animal husbandry, and we'll find the apiary right there. Now, he's going to kind of get in the way here. We'll just put it there, and hopefully maybe he'll... Oh, and now we have a little goat. Cool, you guys are really helping me out here. Love that. Um, and these pigs, they don't move, so we might have to wait a little bit for him to, to move along. But uh, to build this guy, you're going to need six stones total, uh, six logs for, like, the framing and everything. And then you'll need 16 straw for the roof. So we'll hammer in what we can here. Because I know it's going to yell at me eventually. Because there'll be a pig in the way. Yeah. Pig, please. Please. Move. No? Okay. That's cool. That's fine. That's cool. Well, we'll just... Uh... Oh, and look at... Now she's like laying there too. Love that. Well, we're just going to wait a little bit until these guys decide to move along. At last. They have moved on. We can finally, I may have hit something. Don't look at the blood. It's fine. It's totally fine, guys. Don't look at it. It's totally fine. So we're going to hammer in these guys here. Don't look at the blood. It's fine. We're not, uh, it's fine. <laughs> so we'll hammer in the straw and the logs here. There we go. And then we'll put the straw in here. Oops, getting a little stuck here. There we go. Murder did not happen, I promise. There we go. Okay, so now that we have, uh, we've built it, here it is. You are going to need to assign uh, a farmer to run this guy. So make sure you have a farmer. I don't have any available farmers yet. I'm going to have to go build another house and find another farmer and assign them here. But basically you just do the same, the usual stuff that you would do with your, uh, you know, assigning people and whatnot. So you can kind of take a look at it here. We'd assign them here. And then make sure that you... Uh, put in you know how much honeycomb you want made we'll just put this on 100 percent right here now the great thing about this is that it doesn't require any tools or anything um to run so uh you basically just uh decide someone here they will start just uh gathering it for you which is awesome and uh then you can do you know whatever it is you want to do with it now, you might be wondering or you might notice that when you uh, that you get more honeycomb in certain parts of the year, and that is on purpose. The uh, honeycomb, uh, its production is 100% during spring and summer, but it starts to have itself after that. So uh, in autumn, for example, fall... It drops to 50% production and then 25% in the winter, which makes sense because, you know, it's wintertime. Bees aren't out, you know, making honey and all that. So, um, but you still do get some in winter, which is kind of nice, if not, you know, wholly realistic, at least in outdoorsy kind of environment anyway. Um, so that, 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 that is the reason why you might be noticing that you're not getting as much honeycomb during fall and winter. 
Uh, it's just that's just how it is. And obviously, your worker skill and any kind of um, diplomacy bonuses that you have in your skills that will also impact uh, how much honeycomb you're getting. Um, the, the the higher level that your worker is, and um, the happier they are the better they're going to be producing. So, you know, that might give you some some production problems if they're not happy, like if an event happens. Like, I just had one uh, recently, actually, where I can't remember what happened exactly, but it made, like, all my people not the happiest. Like, their, their, their mood dropped by, like, 5% or something like that. So that's impacting my productivity overall. So you might be experiencing something like that. Otherwise, if everything is, like, 100% and it just happens to be fall or winter that is going to still impact how much honeycomb you're going to be getting for those seasons. So keep that in mind for your uh, your planning needs. You might want to like maybe focus on, if you're, if, you're, if you're making this for the tavern, you know, you might want to focus on maybe some of the other drinks during the slower production periods. But um, that's it. Hopefully you can get your apiary running, get that honeycomb, make some delicious alcoholic beverages, and, you know, do what you want with those. Sell them, drink them, I don't know. your life. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.